given here is a right angle triangle ABC whose area is 30 centimeter square and perimeter is 30 centimeter. We have to find all three sides. Now, this is a right angle triangle. Let the sides be lowercase a, ab is lowercase a, bc be lowercase b, and ac be lowercase c. So, area of a right angle triangle is half into base into height, or area given here is that means half base here is bc that is b, and height is ab. So, half times ab is equal to 30 or from here we can find ab is equal to 30 times 2 so ab here is 60 so let this be equation 1 so we are going to use three concepts here first that area of a right angle triangle is half into base into height second perimeter of the triangle is equal to sum of all three sides so a plus b plus c now given here the perimeter is 30 centimeter so from here we can find a plus b is equal to 30 minus c let this be equation 2 again since this is a right angle triangle so, as per Pythagorean theorem, square of hypotenuse, hypotenuse here is C, so square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of two opposite sides. So, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So, we will remember this as our equation 3. So, we are going to use these three equations. Now, we have A plus B plus C is equal to 30. So, let us square both the sides. So, squaring both the sides. So, A plus B plus C whole square is equal to 30 square. Now, this is an algebraic expression where if we have X plus Y plus Z whole square, then this is equal to X square plus Y square plus Z square plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. So, we can use this formula to expand it. So, we can write it as a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca is equal to 30 square is 900. Now, from equation 3, c square is a square plus b square. So, for a square plus b square, we can write c square. So, let us write for this a square plus b square, c square. So, c square plus c square plus 2. From equation 1, we have a b is equal to 60. So, 2 times 60 plus 2. See here, we can take common and write a plus b is equal to 900. Now, c square plus c square is 2c square plus 120 plus 2c times a plus b. Again, from equation 2, a plus b is 30 minus c. Let us put the value of a plus b as 2c square plus 120 plus 2c. a plus b is 30 minus c is equal to 900 or 2c square plus 2c times 30 minus c we send 120 to the right hand side it will be 900 minus 120 now let us take 2 common here so c square plus c times 30 minus c is equal to 780 Divide both the sides by 2. So, it is c square plus 30c. c times minus c is minus c square is equal to 390. 780 divided by 2 plus c square minus c square gets cancelled. It is c here. So, 30c 
is equal to 390 divide both the sides by 30 so 13 times 3 is 39 so c is equal to 13 so one of the sides is 13 we know a plus b plus c is equal to 30 or a plus b is equal to c is 13 so 30 minus 13 so a plus b is equal to 30 minus 13 will be 17 from here we can find the value of b which is equal to 17 minus a let this be equation 4 now now from equation 1 ab is equal to 60 so we can write here ab is equal to 60 let's put the value of b here from equation 4 so a times 17 minus a is equal to 60 or 17 a minus a square minus 60 is equal to 0 we multiply minus to both the side it will be a square minus 17 a plus 60 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation that we can factorize we have to find two numbers whose product is equal to 60 and whose sum is equal to 70 so if we factorize it 12 times 5 is 60 and 12 plus 5 is 17 so two numbers are 12 and 5 a square minus 12 a minus 5 a plus 60 is equal to 0 or we will take a common so a minus 12 minus 5 and minus 12 is equal to 0 now a minus 12 is the common factor so a minus 12 times a minus 5 is equal to 0 so we have two solutions here when a minus 12 is equal to 0 a is equal to 12 when a minus 5 is equal to 0 then a is equal to 5 so when a is equal to 12 b is equal to 17 minus 12 that is 5 when a is 5 then b is 12 so either 12 5 13 or 5 12 13 these are the sides for the triangle how did you solve it let me know in the comment section thanks for watching